The difference of two squares is a simple but powerful technique for factoring polynomials. Remember, one of the main objectives in algebra is to learn how to solve equations, and factoring helps you do that. Factoring helps you to solve equations. So by learning how to factor using the difference of two squares, this will help you solve a wide variety of equations. The formula says that a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b times a plus b. Let's see some examples of where we use this to factor. The first example is let's factor y squared minus 36. The first thing you want to do is see if this fits the pattern of the difference of two squares. Now the first term is y squared, and it's definitely a square. So the second term, 36, is also a square. It can be written as 6 squared. So we have y squared minus 6 squared. So it is the difference of two squares. So we can factor it as y minus 6 times y plus 6. Now that was fairly straightforward. Let's see a more subtle example. Let's factor 4x squared minus y to the fourth. Let's focus on the first term, 4x squared. That can be written as 2 squared times x squared. And we can rewrite this as 2x, the quantity squared. So we have 2x squared minus y to the fourth. Now let's look at the second term. Y to the fourth can be written as y squared squared. And that's the trick I wanted you to see in this example. So we have 2x the quantity squared minus y squared the quantity squared. And that gives us 2x minus y squared times 2x plus y squared. I mentioned in the beginning that factoring helps you solve equations. So let's use this technique of factoring to solve an equation. And we're going to solve the equation 9x squared minus 1 equals 0. So let's begin by factoring the left-hand side, 9x squared minus 1. The first term, 9x squared, can be written as 3 squared times x squared. And the 1 can be written as 1 squared. In fact, 1 to any power is 1. So we have 3 squared times x squared minus 1 squared equals 0. Let's go ahead and group the first term a little bit. So we have 3x the quantity squared minus 1 squared equals 0. Now we can apply the difference of two squares and factor this. And that gives us 3x minus 1 times 3x plus 1 equals 0. Now, if the product of two numbers is 0, so one of the numbers has to be 0. So we're going to set each term equal to 0, and that will give us the solutions to this equation. So we've set the first term equal to 0. That gives us 3x minus 1 equals 0. Solving that gives us x equals 1 third. And now for the second term, 3x plus 1 equals 0 gives us x equals negative 1 third. So the two solutions to this equation are 1 third and negative 1 third. 